And uh, before I start the class, you know, um, I just wanted to say a few words. You know, um, I'm sure many of you are um, quite sad today, you know, or disappointed or devastated or feel despair or maybe it's, we never know, even maybe upset, you know. Um, so, you know, we people might have been going through a different range of feelings. Um, but again, you know, that is part of our learning, you know, um, part of our growth, part of our learning is that we go through all those different emotions, sometimes happy, sometimes disappointed, you know, uh, sometimes mm, joyful, sometimes um, pain, you know, sometimes um, we have success, sometimes we have failure. As individual, as a, as a collectively, you know, sometimes we, we make progress, sometimes we have a setback uh, for a certain period. But that's part of life, that's part of samsara, and that's what samsara is, you know. We cannot get everything we want and we wish all the time, you know. Uh, sometimes on individual level or on collective level, you know, it is not, uh, you know, all, we can't have everything that we wish or we want um, for individual and collective and for others as well, you know. Um, that is part of the life sometimes. Um, and but also recognizing, you know, um, that is impermanent. You know, that one is samsara in samsara, that is, that is what happens, you know, up and downs. We make some progress and we have one setback and we make some progress and we have some setback and, and that's how we move, you know. Um, and so I think the most important thing is, you know, not to allow ourselves to be overwhelmed by those different emotions because that doesn't change the situation. That doesn't change the reality. And uh, the most important thing is keep our mind as much calm as possible, as much uh, positive as possible, instead of just focusing on the, you know, um, all the bad things that could possibly happen, you know. Instead, we have to also focus on, uh, you know, certain other aspect, you know, that um, that it, it, it doesn't have to, it doesn't necessarily become as bad as we think it will happen, you know, because at the moment, because of what we have been hearing and what we have seen and all through that it in everyone's there is you know feeling that we have image image of the worst thing that could happen and you know but again things might not be as bad you know uh, of course you know things as i said there might be some setback in certain areas in certain things but again that is not the end um, the good thing is you always have the opportunity for the next time to change that and um, whatever whatever things that might have have set back and to make to take it further is not the end there is always the opportunity to do that you know being impermanent you know, and so I think remembering the impermanence and, uh, you know, not to allow your mind to be too, too negative and instead try to keep as positive as possible. And, um, and that is what we, you know, uh, if we are more positive, if we are more it, then you know we continue to move on. You know we continue to move on, 
and uh, and so I think um, so. Of course, it's a natural to feel those, go through those different emotions in such situations, you know. Um, but again, you know, we learn from all of that. We learn from all of that, you know. Um, we learn from having a disappointment when we have so much high expectations for a certain outcome that we, we like to see. And when those outcomes that we like to see are not there, or when we are unable to achieve uh, you know, uh, those different emotions, fear, worry, you know, um, all those can arises, but the main, main point is not allow those feelings to overwhelm you, you know, uh, recognize those feelings and um, feel it and just let it go, you know, try to think more, something more positive, something more hopeful, and something more beneficial, and try to uplift and try to support, help each other emotionally, um, reach out each others, you know, and so, and move forward, you know, move forward and not to get stuck for what has already happened, you know, but uh, going forward, uh, you know, uh, to continue to contribute in whatever your way to, uh, you know, to stop from uh, having to too strong, too much setback, but how can we progress, you know? Um, so that is the thing that we can kind of um, do, you know, and nothing else we don't have. And we just have to be accept and, you know, for the choice the people makes, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, um, just as we might be feeling different emotions, same way other side have gone through the same feeling on other years. So, you know, uh, it is, it, sometimes we don't understand when they are feeling, they are going through those feelings. We, we are not aware of that, but now we are aware of what it is like to be in the other side and to go through all these different emotions and feeling and also with that recognizing how others also feel that same, go through the same pain, suffering, emotions. Also, um, when, when they have been defeated in certain years, in certain um, elections, you know. And so, so anyway, I think you cannot, we cannot stop smiling, we cannot stop being kind and compassionate. And I think that is what we need to do. Continue to smile, continue to be joyful, continue to be um, kind and compassionate. And, and that is the only way that can help us. That is the only way that can help the, the country, um, the world that we live in. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to say those few words before um, I wanted to start 